Hey guys, it's Matt with Thrive Off Grid. All right, so I got the versifier here in front of me, and I'm gonna do a a quick demo. Um, this is still um, in development phase yet. I'm still writing code for it. Um, but however, I do have a manual um, sequence code uh, set up in the controller, so I'm getting each um, individual cycle uh, coded in software. And then I'm manually switching uh, between each each of these cycles. So we're getting that established first before we go to full autonomous. So that'll be the next step um, starting tomorrow. Um, I'll start working on that code. Well, actually, um, I need to get the other barrel um, functioning. Um, so basically what we'll want to do is uh, get a full... Uh, barrel uh, accumulator cycle where um, it'll fill both of them up and deplete both of them in, in sequence. So that will um, have some autonomous uh, code in it. So that'll be the start. And then and then after I get to that point, then it'll be the, the full autonomous where it'll self-run um, for a full hopper load. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is make sure I have my torch <laughs> available. So this here is your mode button. So oops. now I'll shift to yellow. And basically what that did is it uh, opened up the um, gas supply valve because um, this has self-ignition. So it basically opened up this uh, valve right here to supply some gas to the intake and then there's an igniter in here so when this is fully functional um, this will self light um, on its own and then uh, and then that goes off so that shuts that valve off so that valve was only on for you know five seconds all right so the flare cup valve is open so I'm going to go ahead and I got good strong gas. So at this point, that top probe is now getting hot from the flare. So now the controllers would see it and say, okay, we're ready to charge an accumulator. But I'm going to do that manually. Okay, so now we're going to charge the accumulator. Now I gotta figure out how to time that um, so that shuts off before the blower shuts off to prevent that that um, blow out there. All right, so at this stage, it'll be in a cooling stage. So this will be blue. When this comes on dark blue, that means it's it's cooled and it's ready to be uh, to be used. But since we're kind of like in a into demo mode right now, um, we're just gonna run it. So, but basically what you're doing is letting the gas cool and condense out all the tar and uh, the moisture that's in the gas. All right? So the next step is um, now we're going to use the gas. So here is my, my gas application, the gas stove. Now I'm going to switch it into supply mode. So it's opening up the supply valve. And now we got all right. So we're heating the outside. Now we're using our, our gas. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is you see this uh, orange target. When the sun, when this goes down and this void here reaches the sensor, the sensor is being made right now. When that's uh, not made any longer, then it says, okay, we, we're now we're no longer or the 
the accumulator is empty. Now it's time to switch over to the other barrel and recharge this one. So, so that is uh, where we're at in the development. So this is coming along probably, I'm hoping in, within the next couple weeks I'll have um, the full code um, written and I'll have this thing functional. Then we'll do some testing and then uh, this thing will be available to market. So yeah, um, you're going to be able to heat with biomass, but and you won't you won't be limited to just heat. You'll be able to run a hot water heater, clothes dryer, um, eva um, evaporative refrigeration, uh, your stove, um, oven range, um, as long as you have uh, uh, CO detectors, um, and basically any other household appliance that runs on natural gas or, or LP. Um, I'm not sure what kind of modifications we'll need to be we'll need to make. I'm sure there there may be uh, modifications to maybe the jets, but um, we'll, we'll see when we get there. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.